Greetings, programs. It's your buddy Ingrid Burnall here, Hank Fernail. That's me from Runehammer coming at you for Roll20. We are going to break down how to use Roll20 the, the crazy way, the easy way, the fast way. If you've watched any Roll20 tutorials out there, you're probably going, dear God, why? I'm never going to get into virtual tabletops or playing D&D online because it's crazy. It's crazy. It's like making a website or something. And I'd rather just play at the table. Well, we live in an age where you just got to hook up with people from all over the world and play with them because it's too dang cool. I'm going to show you the forbidden way, the dark magic way, the hidden path of Necro 20 Namacon. <laughs> All right, let's face it. Roll20 really is just a chat room for you and your homies to throw down, roll some dice, move your tokens around a map, and talk. Talking is the essence of good RPG playing, not a bunch of other crazy stuff. We are going to cover it from the most basic point, which is just setting up a sort of scenic map space for you to gather and talk and roll dice, and then we're gonna go all the way into the crazier land the land of conjuring the demons of dynamic tokens and realms unimagined, okay? So I'm just gonna hit you. This is the way that I've done all my Roll20 games. I play Roll20 every single week with all kinds of different maps and scenarios and stuff, and we do not use barely any of the features. Now, Roll20 has a ton of super cool features, don't get me wrong. There's all kinds of dynamic lighting and moving things happening and even like built-in game intelligence. But you are a lumpy-headed weirdo. You have three arms. You're like me. You just want to cut to the basics and do most of your RPG in your notebook with pen and paper. The true school way. The wonderful way. The platonic way. Wait a minute. Is Plato like with the, the triangles in space that are perfect triangles or was that Aristotle? I think it's both of them. They were like related. I think Aristotle's like Plato's grandpa. Anyways, ancient philosophy aside, this is how we're going to break it down. All right, so you're going to go to World 20. You're going to sign into your account. Create new game is up at the top. Click that. And you're going to type in a cool game name. And then, no, you don't want that. No, not that. No. Okay, then there's your game name. Come in here. Just launch it. Don't worry about anything. You're going to come in, see a grid. Click this little page button. This lets you control page settings. Go in here black background because white backgrounds are horrible turn off the grid say okay there you go nice now you just have a blank black space now go over to this little icon which is where you're going to keep your images find an image upload it and drag it in preferably scenery like this then click it grab these little handles make it big so it kind of fills the space and bang you have your first chat room go up to manage audio here you can add a couple of tracks your Roll20 chat room here. Sure, I don't know, one of these sound cool? They all have cool looking names. Let's see, uh, I don't know, sure, add one of these. Uh, let's see, uh, sure, Alien Machine Shop, why not? Add that, hit play, now you've got background music for anybody who pops in the room with you, and you're done. Okay, so now you've got your visually interesting, dark and moody, cool chat room set up. You need to do two things, and then you're gonna feel like Basically, the rest is superfluous. So you need to get other players in there. You're going to invite them in. They're going to boop, boop, boop. They're going to appear. You're going to see their beautiful faces on their webcams. And then you need to bring up your dice window. With your dice window, you can just bloop, 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 click those little dudes. And what you roll is going to be over on your side of your map space there. You can talk and you can roll dice and see each other's rolls. Everything else can be on pen and paper. You've got some cool music in the background. You have done 90% of what you need to do cool Roll20 games. On your home page of your game, you're gonna hit invite players and you'll see this link at the bottom, just copy that. And then on Facebook or Discord, wherever you're chatting, just give people that link and they'll jump right in. Next, you're gonna go in and on the left, you could see that dice icon. You're gonna click it, adjust your window, and you're ready to roll dice just by clicking the dice you want. That's it. So yeah, it seems insanely basic and I'm only showing you the very like tip of the edifice of the awesomeness is Roll20. That is the basics of really what brings us together at the virtual table. Now, full transparency, you guys know me, I don't bow down to corporate overlords, but when Roll20 asked me if we wanted to collaborate so I could do sort of a my style tutorial, I said hell yes, because we use to Roll20, like I said, every week. We love it, it brings us together, and I, I don't know about you guys, 
have interests in RPGs that are not only way too like serious and intense, but also very weird RPGs, very out there, you know, sci-fi games, horror games, whatever. And finding those players locally is near impossible, at least where I live. I live up in the mountains of Runehimeria. And this is where the virtual table is so handy. And to me, I think the things that spins people off of it is there's a perception that there's a lot of technical elements going on to use a virtual tabletop. But to me, it is no more complex or technical than playing at the table, where remember, all the coolest stuff happens right here and with your pencil and your paper. Everything else is bonus and is gravy. And to me, it's the same with Roll20. Yeah, maps and miniatures and tokens and all this other cool bells and whistles are cool, but the real guts of what we do as RPG hobbyists, the real soul of it, to me, is right here and on pen and paper. And so if you just have the most basic tools on Roll20, something to look at, a map to gather around, voice and video, and some cool background music, you've got your pen, your paper, you're ready to go. Now there's a lot more to do, and we're gonna go into that in the following videos of the Necroll 20 Namakan, the forbidden book of the mad Roll20 player. Al has read. So I'll see you guys next time on Necroll 20 Namakan the Rep Quote Funding Yamakan. I don't even know what Red Wing of the Mind and I know what Necroll 20 Namakan the Rep Quote Funding Yamakan.